Hello again, herb lovers. I wanted to talk to you about my worms. This may be a little bit advanced if you're still just growing your herbs on your patio or on your deck, but it's really important to understand why I'm so fanatical about feeding the soil and how I do it. And my worms are an integral part of my organic gardening system. So let's take a look. I believe that they are a complete composting system and they're wonderful to have in the garden. And I have had them for many, many years. It's a very old um, can of worms and it just keeps going. Now, this is a very overloaded can of worms. It's got far too much in here, but I just haven't gotten in to change the level. What I want you to see here is what these amazing creatures do. So we separate stuff out in the kitchen. Some goes out the compost, some goes out to the worms, some, some goes out into the chickens. But these little worms are creating amazing castings. And what they do is they come up through the layers and they surface feed. And they are feeding at the top. Once you can get through the big layers of stuff, here's some of them here. I'm hoping we won't run across the dead mouse that I put in here the other day while we're filming. But these worms do an amazing job and they just turn all of this kitchen waste into amazing worm castings. And I don't use the worm castings immediately. Lots of people are fairly fussy about how they manage their worms. I'm not. I just throw everything in in a most unorthodox manner and the worms just get on with doing what they have to do. Now we're in a multi-storey worm bin here and here we go, here's the ones that are top feeding. So you can see they just multiply frantically. There's a bit of mouse hair in there I think. Um, that's why they're there, they've been eating the mouse. So these gorgeous little creatures just work away making beautiful worm castings for us. Now, I won't use this top layer immediately. I have to take two layers off to get down to the gold, which is the worm castings at the bottom. But in the meantime, what I can and do use for feeding our herb planter, if I want to use a liquid feed, is the leachate, or what they call the worm tea. And what happens is the liquid from the worms and a little bit of rain that gets in sometimes. What happens is the liquid falls through these layers into this bottom compartment here and it creates a leachate, commonly referred to as worm tea, that comes out through this little nozzle here. And this is basically liquid gold, as revolting as it looks. And I do apologise for anybody who's slightly squeamish, but this is organic gardening for you. But this is the wonderful liquid that we collect. And this can be poured straight on the ground or it can be watered down one to 10 and used as a fertilizer. For years, there's huge amounts of debate about this. Go anywhere online and everybody's debating whether or not you should use it, whether it's poison, blah, blah, blah. I can tell you, I've been throwing this on my garden for years and everything grows. So I try not to pour it on salad leaves that I'm going to eat for dinner that night, but I pretty much throw it around everywhere. And we're still here to tell the tale, so it can't be that bad. So that goes nicely in your mini herb garden too. If you can get hold of some worm tea, I suggest you get hold of some. It's basically liquid gold. Okay, so tell me, what do you think about worms? Are you keen to get some? They do live happily inside. We have actually had this living on a balcony before now. Let's talk about it in the comments. What are your thoughts about worm tea and are you happy to spread it around your garden? Love and lettuce and bye for now.